and how many countries did you teach? So, um, first of all, I was born in the UK, so I have experience of teaching in the UK. Also spent two years in, in Saudi, uh, various projects with the Saudi National Guard, the Ministry of Agriculture, University of Al-Baha, so um, taught English there as well as a second language and also now into Pakistan so three hundred. Pioneer World News ki videos dekhne ke liye hamara channel subscribe kare aur bell icon per click kare taake aapko hamari har video ka notification mil sake. Shukriya. Mr. Laram, I am a Samaritum. I am Arindu Chaudhary and I am going to introduce Dr. Salati. Uh, who was the first couple, you can say that, or the first couple who is going to serve in Pakistan and living in uh, the United Kingdom. And he has served in many countries. He has taught in many countries, including uh, the countries of the Asia, South Asia, Middle East, and of the uh, Europe. Uh, now, uh, before he was working in the United Kingdom, but he had decided, uh, accompanied by her kappa, uh, her wife, that uh, he was served in Pakistan. He will teach the students of the Pakistan English and he will uh, serve in a different way, uh, which is unavailable and unbelievable uh, for the Pakistani uh, students. He is going to read English in a, uh, uh, English accent. Uh, so uh, we are going to uh, uh, talk uh, with Mr. Umar Daraz. Oh, sir. How are you, sir? Uh, uh, from Pakistan, every person want to uh, visit, uh, want to settle in the United Kingdom. But you are the first couple uh, who are uh, arriving in Pakistan. Why are you have to Yes, uh, like, like you mentioned, everyone would like to go out and travel to the UK, which is understandable. But you know, this is the land where our forefathers have come from. So it's important that you know, we give back as well. Especially in, in this area of challenges, one of the poorest areas in, in the world. So for us, it, it's vital to give something back. In this land, everything we have has come from here. So we have to give back. Especially in this land of there's a lot of blessings here. So for us, it's important to serve. We've been blessed immensely by the family of us. So it's important for us to give back. When you were living in the United Kingdom for the Pakistan, did you not hesitate for a moment? So we, we were in Birmingham, um, so one of the headquarters of Hazard Trust is in, in the UK, in Birmingham. So we were in Birmingham for the past five and a half years. Um, so the headquarters of Hazard Farm Trust is where we have more than a thousand students who are the same time, they are Hafiz of the Quran, Qari of the Quran, and at the same time, they have a professional field where they are either a doctor, engineer, a banker, uh, which which seems incredible because the students who are becoming half is it takes a lot of effort, a lot of energy, a lot of commitment. So that takes a lot of time, approximately six hours a day is taken just for hifas. So if you calculate that. 8 o'clock till 4 o'clock, these students are in school. From half 4 till half 8, they're in our center. So if you think 6 hours a day just for hifas, they will not be good in school. But it's the opposite. See, the recitation of the Quran, it purifies the heart, the soul, and the students become like a sponge. So any information that you give them, they absorb it. It's like light, it's like mood inside of them. So Alhamdulillah, they are the best students within the schools. The teachers are, they can't believe, they're amazed at how good these students are, how good their memory is. And that's, that's a When you were deciding whether you're deciding about Pakistan, that you were teach and the Pakistan, you can also opt the metropolitan cities, including the Karachi, Islamabad, Multan, Fatal, and other cities. But you have decided uh, to serve in a very rural area, I think. Uh, yeah, it's, very, it's very remote. But to be honest with you, you know, the, the land that we're in, there's a, there are a lot of blessings here, a lot of blessings. Alongside that, you know, there's no distractions here. The students here, they have a lot of will to want to study. For example, you know, if you're in Lahore, Islamabad, Karachi, fair enough, those are big cities. There's a, there's a lot of facilities there, whereas here, there's a need, you know, there's beautiful, beautiful students that are here, the young boys and girls, you know, to be honest with you, we learn from them the way there, they There is this common thinking that uh, the rural areas, the lake of the thinking among the students. I personally disagree 
I believe the children these it's important how humble they are how loving how caring these children are yeah. I, I believe everyone can learn from them and the way that the Really, it's, it's an honor to come here, serve, to see. We've learned a lot ourselves just by observing the children, how good they are, how humble they are. And the main thing is they want to learn. They they want to. Young students come to us and ask, please teach us, please teach us. I don't think we would have got. Due to the lack of the opportunities, they are not. Yeah, yeah, they have, they don't have that that many opportunities. But any opportunity that they do have, they want to grab hold of it, which is very rare. I don't think we would have got that. In the, in the major cities, so you know it's it's a plus to manage with you for for us what we've been blessed with. We want to give back as well, and these students are, are more than deserving of that. Can we expect in the upcoming time uh, the students will be ready to serve in the whole of world from the uh, United College to other Sultanpur? <coughs> oh, very much, Allah, and under you know under the guidance of the principal here, Sayyid Ashim Bukhari Sahib, he spent years. He's developed a, a very good system as it is alongside his staff members. So already, you know, what's been achieved is amazing. It's unbelievable. For what's been achieved so far in this area, you no know, credit goes to him, his team under the guidance of Sheikh Sultan Fiazul Hussain Sabi Ghatri. It's a big achievement. But you know, we we here. What we will also learn from these guys, and hopefully we can serve as well further. And. I believe already what's been achieved is a very big achievement. Mm. However, we can help out as well and just further help improve the system. You know, hopefully we can. And uh, I believe already you will see future leaders of Pakistan from here. No doubt about that. Because you know, like you see, the vision currently from the government is as well that students should have uh, secular education, but at the same time they should be. Islamic ethos within that as well. So you will see this will be a, a prime example of one of those institutes that produce leaders for Pakistan who are loyal to Pakistan. And how many countries does he teach? So um, first of all, because born in the UK, so have experience of teaching in the UK. Also spent two years in in Saudi uh, various projects with the Saudi National Guard, the Ministry of Agriculture, University of Al Baha. So um, taught English there as well as a second language, and also now come to Pakistan so three years ago. Mr. Wadra Al Sal is in a United College of Al Sultan. About how he is going to serve the uh, students of the rural area specifically, and uh, he is expecting that in the upcoming time uh, there will be students uh, of a very eligible uh, students uh, who came from the uh, United College Al Sultan, but they will serve in the whole of the world. Thank you very much.